raising children and whatnot. All right. We're here today to tell of a fucking story. All right. Well, I have to go. So. Peace out. You know what? Fuck you. All right. You no, know you're gonna have fresh, warm milk. For my next trick, I will do the impossible. At the count of three. He's gone now. Yeah, he's gone. All right then. So, uh, this story is called, uh, if I remember correctly, the, the Little Man in the Closet. Now, this is when I was about seven years old. All right. Now. It was like late at night, like I would say maybe around like 12, somewhere around that. And I was sleeping and I woke up from, I don't remember what, I think maybe like a bad dream, I think. Yeah, I think it was probably that. And then when I woke up, I, I saw like something weird, like, it looked like some sort of figure in my closet and I thought and I felt terrified because I thought like oh no the boogeyman he's come to get me so what I did was that I like wanted to make sure like hey because, like, at the age of seven, I was so much sort of smart, okay? Like, I knew things from that were reality and that were not, okay? Then, I looked up in there, and then I saw this man, all right? And I thought it was the real boogeyman. So then, I started knocking on... I said I like ran through my parents' door and I started knocking on the door like, Hey, there's a man in my closet. So then they came uh, to my room and checked in my closet and saw nothing. And they were just like, You're just dreaming, okay? The boogeyman isn't real. And I was like, Are you sure? And uh, they were like, yes, we're sure. So then they went back off the bed. So then I went back to sleep again. Yeah, for some reason, I still felt as if that figure was still there. And it was still there. That whatever I thought. So then I thought, so now I thought this time to go check it out, like things that is actually real. So what I did was that I had my teddy bear, his name was Mr. Cuddles, and I had like uh, this toy bat, and I also had a flashlight on me, so like once I shine the, the light on Boogeyman, then I go beat it to death with the shovel, I mean with the bat, yeah. And then, uh, when I came upon it, it was about my height, all right, and this person, he was wearing ashless chaps. Oh, ashless chaps. So then, uh, so he was like a little midget, and like, no wonder he couldn't be seen. Because like my room, because like my closet was pretty dirty, all right, at that time. Like clothes were everywhere, so he must have hid under one of the piles of clothes. This makes a lot of sense. Yeah, all right. Then, he uh, started to fucking grab me, and then he was molesting me. 
And I enjoy it for some reason. I have no idea why. Right. And this is the first time I ever had a big inside of me at the age of seven. All right. He fucking, he fucking raped me, but I wouldn't call it rape because I fucking needed it. Then, my fucking parents, they started hearing like noises. And we're like, hey, what's that? And then they saw me and the little assless chaps midget with, I mean, me and the assless chaps midget uh, having uh, sex. And I was like, hey, mom, hey, mommy, hey, daddy. And their mouths just dropped. So then they just shut the door, like, slowly. And then my mom, she just fucking screamed. So then, uh, after, like, a couple of hours, uh, the police, they arrested the man, alright, now, because of that shit, uh, alright, uh, after he was arrested, like, uh, fucking, uh, like, a few hours later, I was thinking about what happened, alright, thinking about, like, whoa, do I like girls, do I like boys? Y'all like both? I was going through that, I was going through that certain age. I mean, that certain phase, which is really weird, because usually that happens when you're a teen. But, to me, it already happened. Which I find it weird as fuck. Alright. Then, I asked my, I asked my father about the word gay, alright. And I heard that it meant that you, uh, that you like, uh, fucking, uh, you like fucking your own race, your own sex. It's like, Daddy, what is being gay? And he's like stunned. Like, whoa, 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 like, whoa, my son, you know, it's like one of them places where, like, it's in the neighborhood, but it's, but it's like, we had, like, a much larger piece of land, all right, and we had, like, animals, like, we had, like, some goats, some chicken, and a garden, all right, yeah, so then, uh, he fucking took me to the backyard, and showed me these two fucking goats, all right. And both of these goats, they were gay. And it seems that they were having sex. So they were just like doing like dog style and whatnot. And we were like watching it. It was like, son? This is what being gay is. Alright. So then, once that happened, that shit, um, he fucking touched my shoulder, and as he was saying that, like, son, this is what being gay is. So then, he fucking, uh, pulled down my pants, and then he fucking raped me. Oh, was being stressed and shit, which fucking hurt like hell. I was starting to enjoy it. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cutie. What the fuck? Yeah. No, I had a I had a harsh life. Harsh life. Grief. Alright. So there. The man in the closet.